duty? You're going pretty hard for 9 a.m., huh? I've been up for three hours. Plus, I'm practicing for dance camp. I'm so excited you're here. Me too. It's weird. Mrs. Simpson's house hasn't changed a bit. Where's all your stuff? It's still in Crown Lake. My mom's doing the old lady a favor by taking care of her house. She adds great stuff for dress up. <laughs> Are you on the dance team at your school? I'm trying out in the ball. I was, but not anymore. Will you show them your teens? Do you remember them? I really, really, really want to make the team. So you said. Are you always this high energy? Yes. It's gonna be a long summer. I know, I'm so excited. We fly so high, we fly together, we are a girl gang like birds of a feather. We fly so high, we fly together, we are a girl gang like birds of a feather. That's Dina Jones. You know the Joneses. Her son, Ernest, is your age. Claire, put your book away. You're making a bad impression. What impression is that, that I like to read? That you're aloof and antisocial. The whole point of being a member at a social club is to be social. I thought I was here to tutor, though I'm not even sure I'm qualified. The third graders already know more French than me. Don't sell yourself short. You belong here, honey, and these are the people that you need to be making connections with. It's never too early to start networking. <laughs> I have to. Oh, there's Lillian Harper and her daughter, Grace. Let's go say hi. Hi. <gasps> Oh, hey, Layla. I didn't know you worked here. First day. And I'm so happy to see I'm working with you today. The same goes for me, I assume? Morning, folks. What's with all these standing around? Hi, Portia. Me and PK were just going over the morning checklist. <laughs> You're a star, Simone. Layla, why don't you put your things down and Simone will show you the morning procedures. Let's get ready for success, people. It's gonna be a great day. What are you two doing? Oh, um, uh, we're just... Judy, how many times has mom told you not to play with the old lady's things? We'll lose our deposit. I don't have to listen to you. I listen to Harmony. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize. We can just put everything back. No, let her do it. She's the one that broke the rules. But I do need help with these boxes. Oh, um... Okay, sure. Judy, will you be okay? Grace, you've gotten so tall. Lillian, I was hoping to run into you. Claire was saying that she wants to join the traditions committee. I was? Oh, well, we need extra hands. Ginny, I'll catch you up over cocktails, but there's been some turnover in well. It is quite the story. Mom, I was supposed to be in the dance hall like five minutes ago. I'll come with you. Great, thanks. Oh, Claire, you're such a doll. Isn't she? And she's top of her class and student body president. <laughs> and she tutors too, you know. Thanks. You're the one doing me the favor. <laughs> Here you go, triple double fudge with sprinkles. Have a good one. It's actually have a sweet day, just to FYI. Portia has a whole thing about it. Or just say what you want, whatever, just trying to help. I think I'd rather get yelled at by Portia than be bossed around by you. Look, does it have to be awkward between us all summer? Why can't we just be friends? <laughs> We're not friends. We were never friends. We're just coworkers. That's it. Now, if you'd excuse me, you're in my way. Okay, this would be the last one. Good work, McAdams. You're officially president of the Baby Service Club. <laughs> so, are you renting this house for the whole year? We're from Crown Lake, you know, so just until our new house is ready. My dad got a big promotion, but our house is still getting renovated. Obviously, we're not staying in this dump forever. My mom always said that this place had character. <laughs> if you're talking old lady character, I guess. 
I'm going to meet up with some girls from my old school. Wanna come? I wish I could, but you know, I'm here to babysit Judy. Oh, right. Maybe next time? Judy? Judy? What did I say about your book? Ernie, you remember Claire, don't you? Uh, of course. Hi, Claire. Don't tell me you're doing your summer reading already. Oh, this? It's just pleasure reading. You're reading Tolstoy for fun? There you are. I've been looking everywhere. My dance class is a nightmare. They're like power surge, but younger and more spoiled. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Mrs. Fitzroy. It's been a long day. Regardless, as a club employee, you should try to keep your opinions to yourself. You never know who's gonna overhear you. Mom, Belle isn't just a club employee. She's my friend. Maybe an Attaway, but while we're here at the club, certain etiquette is expected. Now, come on. I want you to meet my friend Chloe before we leave. I am so sorry. I'm going to yell at her the entire way home. Don't worry about it. Claire, come on. We're not all like that, you know. Here, have a seat. I have somewhere to be. Judy. Judy! I'm totally getting fired. Judy, come out of the box. So, you want to tell me why you ran and hid? Why aren't you with Tamara? I was just helping her. Well, she never wants to hang out with me. And I guess you don't want to either. I hate it here. Listen, Judy, I was just helping her for a second. And I'm here for you, not her. Because my mom pays you to. I'm a little sister too, so I know how it feels to be left out. And I can promise you, I'm here for you, and so is Tamara, okay? Now, do you want to get back to our dance routine or what? We're closed. I know, I just forgot my jacket. What are you still doing here? Doing my portion of the closing checklist. Mm. Portia loves her checklist. You want some help? Nope. Look, do you need me to apologize a million times? What? You haven't even apologized once. Honestly, if I knew how bent out of shape you would get, I wouldn't have done anything in the first place. I'm not bent out of shape. We kissed. That doesn't mean I'm in love with you or anything. I never said you were in love with me, but you're clearly still mad. I'm just mad at myself. It has nothing to do with you. I don't like you enough to be mad at you. I don't believe you. I'm pretty sure I know how I feel. Whatever you say. I'm exhausted. I need a refill. Who knew sitting by the pool would be so hard? Hey, tutoring is no walk in the park. And I'm sorry about my mom. She can be like all the other members. I wish I'd known that this club will be so stuffy. Just two more months, we can totally do this. Easy for you to say. You only have one kid to look after. Yeah, but she's not exactly low maintenance. Sorry I'm late. Closing took forever. How was the parlor? Well, I cleaned and scooped and smiled for six hours straight. And after splitting the tips with PK and Simone, only made $4. You had to work with Simone? Okay, you win. It's just a job, right? In a few months, we'll all be sitting on the beach drinking daiquiris or green juice or whatever they drink in LA. In case I haven't told you guys already, you're the best. Cheers. After spending the day at Crown Lake, that sounds perfect. I don't know what I would do without you guys. Aw, so cheesy, but so true. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, 
Sorry, I'll be right back. Mom, I'm with my friends. Claire, I have great news. Dean Hauser just called and a spot has opened up. A spot? What do you mean? A spot at Crown Lake. You'll be transferring in the fall. Next week on Chicken Girls. We should hang out this weekend. There's lots of fun stuff to do that's not at this club. I don't really have much game. I was wondering if you'd help me find a girlfriend over the summer. Who's that? You mean TK? Hi, welcome to the neighborhood. It's looking better every day.